having started this bike for over a week, so let's see what happens now. Oh, doesn't want to start. Turn it off. My battery is getting a little old, I think. Give it another shot. <laughs> wow. So this is summer and we've got that double start. Sometimes it makes no sense because sometimes after sitting for a while it starts up no problem surprising me and then other times there's that double start so what I had today was uh, a coupling of the double start plus the fact that the bike has been sitting for over a week three-year-old uh, battery was I guess in a state of some state of discharge so I was not surprised to see what happened there just now Let's get the RS through this door, doorway. As you can see, that's not a very big gap, but I've got it practiced. And I can do it pretty good now. So today, as I said, this has been the first time in over a week that I've ridden this bike. So I'm suffering from some, some withdrawals motorcycling withdrawal I ride my bike every day pretty much but the weather has been pretty bad so I haven't been riding it today um, I'm gonna go fly my drone uh, I don't know if you've been uh, following along but um, Last time I went camping, I crashed my drone and uh, had a few test flights since then and de uh, decided that uh, it wasn't working properly. So I sent it to DJ DJI. I had the uh, DJI Care Refresh, um, you know, warranty or whatever you call it. Uh, I bought that for $59 when I bought my Spark. Uh, so I sent the thing back under that. I said, hey, I might as well use it. It's coming up to the end of the period. Uh, let me use it and see how that works. So I sent it in um, week before the last Monday. And they diagnosed it. Uh, what, what it is, you go onto the website, you start up a claim and all of that stuff. And they send you a... a Ooh, look at that. They send you a, a label, a UPS label. So you box it up, stick the label on the box, and send it back to them at no charge to you. So they got it back. The uh, very next day, as a matter of fact, they got it back and they acknowledged that uh, they received it and then they started diagnosing it. They diagnosed it and long story short, they decided to replace the drone. So they replaced the drone and uh, sent it back. I got back the replacement drone. So this is a new drone. Not the batteries, the battery. Oh, they sent some propellers as well. Um, I didn't send in the propellers because they ask you to take the propellers and the battery off and keep it. So just send the, just the drone back. So they sent me the new drone body back. And uh, what is this guy doing? They sent the new drone body back. I'm going to go behind him still because I'll be able to pass when the light changes. Send a new drone body back uh, within eight days. So eight days counting from the day that I sent it in to them, which was Monday. The following Tuesday, I got the new drone body back in my hand. I think that that's phenomenal. Uh, you know, so if this drone flies well, and it's, it's you know, and it should, it's a new drone. Um, uh, then the problem is sorted 
and all within eight days uh, for $59. Uh, uh, for that $59, I could have two uh, drone exchanges within one year. So that's a hell of a good deal, considering that I spent about uh, $600 total on the drone plus the fly more pack and all of that stuff. So I, I was very happy with D, with DJI so far. I haven't given them a, re uh, a review yet because I want to just have this test flight and make sure that everything is okay. So that's one of the things that I'm going to get done today, fly the drone. Uh, aside from going for a ride, making sure uh, that all is well with my bike. I'm going to Europe tonight. I'm leaving uh, tonight uh, for for Turkey and Greece and London uh, and England, London. So I won't be getting to ride my bike for another couple of weeks. So I got to get this in. Today, as you can see, it's pretty crappy weather-wise, but at least it's dry. Knock on wood, hopefully it stays dry. I don't expect anything from the drone footage in terms of, of a, a pretty looking footage. There's some motorcycle coming up behind me. Let's we'll see what he is. Uh, so I don't expect to see uh, any great footage, but that's not the purpose. The purpose is to, to actually uh, you know, make sure everything is back to normal with my drone. I oh, just finished a successful flight with the DJI Spark, the new one. And, uh, so I can close this, uh, problem out at, at DJI support with a good feedback. So now I'm going to go for a ride and, um, see where that takes me. Maybe I'll go uh, uh, up through Conroe, my usual ride, and uh, just, you know, enjoy the morning. It's 81 degrees according to the, to the thermometer, uh, to the uh, temperature sensor on the bike. Um, so, not too bad. Uh, humidity, is, humidity is a little bit high, but once you're riding, there's a little bit of a cool breeze. Uh, apparent wind is cool, so it's okay for riding. So I'll catch you back later when I get something more interesting to film.
video is pretty, this vlog I should say is pretty much at an end. Uh, I just wanted to, to touch base with uh, with you guys and uh, to let you know that uh, aside from going for this ride which is long overdue to let you know that uh, the RS Washer Boxer website is going to be up today by the time you see this video it's probably online and uh, also I came out today to test uh, test fly the, uh, the Spock which appears to be a good uh, a roaring success so I've got a, a reliable drone back again after having sent it away for repairs and or replacement in my case uh, in my case it was replaced on the DJI care refresh uh, that was a, a wholly positive experience I got uh, the drone back within eight days from when I sent it off so that was great and uh, I bought another um, refresh plus to extend the DJI care refresh uh, agreement for another year so I'm good until November next year again on this new drone um, what else to say website's going to be up and uh, drone is back in action had a great ride uh, nothing too special but uh, just got it out of my system and now I've got bugs all over my visor and the, probably the front of the bike um, probably not going to wash the bike today because I got to edit these videos and everything before I I catch my flight this evening for for Turkey and uh, so I'm going to be gone for a week and a half or so and uh, I come back I'll have a small break and then I leave again for uh, Shanghai and Singapore and Dubai so it's going to be a busy September and October from here on in not a heck of a lot of riding but by the time I'm back after my uh, October trip uh, riding season will be well comfortable riding season will be here for me uh, temperatures will have cooled down a bit and I'll be able to go more to camping and touring and so on and so forth so really have a good time then right now it's uh, 88 degrees and uh, it's still hot so I don't go camping or anything like that in this kind of weather this here is Old Town Tomball and uh, I don't know it's a lot of traffic today maybe they've got some kind of uh, uh, mark it on the go up front they usually have it up front so uh, that's probably what's causing all of this traffic jam talk to you later keep the shiny side up